we have just installed ROS on uh, at Voxel 2 or RB5 Flight. New background. Uh, so we're going to kind of left off at the bottom of this, which was that is a test example for Voxel 2 that I have going. I'm calling it the simple example. It's something that we could use just um, on the bench top because that's kind of cool. We don't have to fly right now. We just want to like, get the gist of this thing. And uh, off screen here, I have uh, DC power supply. I'm not gonna. We're gonna arm this guy later, but we're not gonna be revving it up. So I think I'm okay with my DC supply. But you might want to use a battery, uh, or if your DC supply is not beefy enough to handle kind of the motor turning on. Um, and what else do we have? We have ADB connected through my USB over to here. So I have a shell. I'm already connected. Um, but if I X ADB shell through that USB, I'm, I'm on here. And uh, we, we actually configured MPA the last video using Voxel configure MPA. And then because of that, we had um, some services in the background start up for this drone. So for like camera server, and a camera server for all the cameras, uh, PX4, and um, a bunch of stuff. And I, we have Wi-Fi connected. So uh, I have an IP address on this drone on an interface. We're just gonna, while I'm talking about it, we're gonna use that later, 126. So basically I'm on the IP network on this, with this drone. I'm ADB shelled over and uh, let's get going here. Let's get going. How to do this? What is it though? Uh, I like pictures. First warning, we just be safe. No, no, no props on this. We, we don't do anything crazy. Uh, don't do what I won't do. So, block diagram. We have the QRB5165. That could be the Voxel 2 or the RB5 flight. It's running Ubuntu. And we installed ROS last video and we also have the voxel sdk that gets installed through our platform release and then uh, some some stuff we're going to be needing in here we have these services um it's like a um, different linux services running in the background that facilitate the different communications a bunch of like uh, udp comms going on here so i want to kind of walk through that just as a as a that's fun for me so in our we're going to use an example later on and there's a launch file that I, I'm no Ross guy, but it's basically so it's a file. It's going to be launched, and it has some some uh, parameters in there. So one of those parameters is we're we're saying what the uh, flight core or the flight controller uh, lo like where where it lives on the system, and it's going to be on localhost, which is this network uh, 127 home, and uh, it's port 14551. So we're saying hey, whenever Mavros is going to be using this, uh, I think and. Whenever we want to send data UDP out to a flight controller, use this socket. All right, well, that's cool if something's over here listening. And Voxel Vision PX4 is a service that does that. It's, it, it can be configured through its config file, which is in etc model AI Voxel Vision PX4.conf. Uh, not listed here, but there is a, um, a, a, a field for specifying the local traffic port. And that you know, we're going to see in a second is 14551. So now that kind of gets that plumbing going. Voxel Vision PX4 through MPA uh, will communicate to the through Mavlink server down to Voxel Vision PX, PX4. And in Voxel PX4, there's a uh, a file called voxel-px4.config. It's kind of like a bash script, and in there, you can see that ma different Mavlink instances are started um, with these ports. Uh, so that's kind of wanted to give an overview of the plumbing because I like plumbing. I, I need to know where the data is kind of flowing. And uh, that's what's going to happen when um, we run this Mavros test example later on. I made a simple example. Uh, it's not really going to use everything here, but we're, gonna, we're just going to arm and disarm after waiting for a, a, a mode change. Um, so I think that's enough blabbing. Let's get going. We need to install some dependencies for this demo to work. Uh, we've installed ROS, but we didn't install Mavros. And after Googling around, this is kind of how we do that. So what I'm going to do is copy these commands and run them. I have a, a um, shell somewhere. Let me get a new shell open. Go ADB shell. 
Cool, we're on target. I am connected to the internet through my local network at home here. Um, I'm gonna use apt, apt-get to install this, these, these packages. Uh, I believe I've already done this on this um, target to make this demo go a little quicker. So you'll, you'll, you'll have a, the download there. We, after I tried to run this demo the first time it aired out and then I kind of Googled around until I found there's a, these geographic lib data sets that's, are, that's needed by Mav, uh, Mavros. So um, the way to install those is it's gonna download from the internet. So just follow the, the, the commands here. And I've already done that here, so it's gonna go quick. On yours, it's gonna go a little slower. It's the first time. So, so that's just to get around the uh, dependencies needed to run this stuff. Um, so back to the services, we, we talked about VoxVision PX4. Um, so let's just go see that config file. And I'm um, gonna use VI, let's resize. Uh, this guy. So we have a bunch of comments uh, in it that describe what these settings are. I'm going to scroll down towards the bottom and one of these things here, QGC IP, this is the IP address of my host computer that is like the ground control station that's running Q ground control. So I'm going to have Q ground control open later on and I could uh, we could see the, the drone changing modes and um, my address is on the same network it's at this uh, 1.64, so that's down here. Cool. Um, the QDC UDP port, that's like the default port, so I'm leaving that. This is um, a flag that by default should be true, but this, this allows the um, comms right here, and that's that port. And one thing that voxel vision px4 can do is it can itself like run off board modes and it has some demos like it can run a figure eight uh i think it does like a follow me tag and it uh something else but um i don't want to use that because uh although it handles this use case i don't want voxel vision px4 listening for off board mode and then trying to do something so i've set this to off and i'm going to go scroll down to my docs here and uh that's roughly what we needed to do cool and um, I didn't change anything in here, um, I don't think, but let's just save it. And, um, but if I did change it, we might need to restart the service. Um, so if you did change values, uh, reboot the drone or um, reboot the service. So the other thing is the Mavlink server. We don't really need to do much with that, but let's just look at that file real fast. So it's VI, ETC, MoleI, Voxel, Mavlink server. So this is where those, those ports are set up. Um, right there, and that where where does that relate to? It's um, voxelpx4.config, and this one's a bigger guy, but um, towards the bottom, and things change over time. This is I don't know what date it's September 2022, um, but 2022, yeah. Here's those ports 14 uh, right there. So that's what those two ports are defined that are, are kind of linking through the, the plumbing there. Let's get out of this guy. Cool. All right, now for some more fun. This is where we get into this Mavra simple example. So let me pull that guy up. It's, we have a bunch of open source stuff here. Voxel Public. This is a support area. I have Mavros test. Cool. Um, the, the master branch, it has kind of um does it it's a more advanced demo for me i'm just going to do something simple here uh so let's do a simple example so this is what we're going to use so i'm going to clone this guy on target uh, i like to go home go home i'm going to get clone i'm going to do the branch simple example and then should just clone, no creds needed. It's like, oh, it's just open. Um, Ross test, cool. So let's let's do, let's parallel compute here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna skip that, I'm gonna do the build, and we can build while we're waiting, right? So we just clone that, that's what I did. I'm gonna go, so simple, let's go in here and build it. So build. Okay, that's gonna go. So while that's building, you can see it going. 
what we're going to do is we want to make sure that we could arm our drone first as like this can we can it be armed normally because like there's lots of things that could prevent it from arming um before you even touch software um so that's that's all good now we'll come back to that um we want to have uh a, like a transmitter because we're gonna what we're gonna do is this like this is like a uh, hello world for me i haven't used mavros before before this demo so it's my hello world too we're gonna make sure like we're gonna have uh these buttons hooked up to like the mode switch and it's gonna be manual position off board and then um we're gonna program the 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 simple example is going to uh run and communicate with px4 through that plumbing and it's gonna wait for uh, us to go into offboard mode by um, listening to PX4 and communicating with PX4. And when it goes into offboard mode, it's gonna arm the drone for a few seconds and then disarm the drone. So it's just like a, a baby example, but uh, to me it's, it's, it's fun. So what do we need to do? Um, let's, one thing is uh, I'm, I have this is a spectrum transmitter and then I have our uh, down here there you go there you go it's bound but if if we weren't bound and you needed to bind if you're in a bind and you need to bind we could go voxel bind it so let me, let me okay we've cleared this we've built here we're gonna clear that and we're gonna as an example if I had a bind we have that so um, for me I would do a dash s and then it would start to, to blink and then I could like a bind so that's how you bind um, I showed you Voxel Vision PX4, the configuration file had the IP address, so let's just try to open up Q Ground Control. And we're going to just do a quick check on the flight mode. So we have flight mode set up manual, position, offboard. Back over here where we left off, we had built this project already. Um, the output is now hidden, but we did build. Now I can just run real quick again. Build. Cool. We built. So, look at our, our check checklist. We uh, we just showed that we had the sticks set up. Um, make sure we could arm it just regularly. So uh, let's do that real quick. I'm gonna just arm it. Like you could do like the stick motion just to arm with PX4. It's a there's a param for it. I think it's by default on, but I could just. Cool. So the vehicle can arm. That's manually. So we, if, if, if I can't do that, then I probably can't programmatically arm. So that's that's a check that needs to pass. Um, again, no props. I'm not going to chop my hands off. I need these guys. We built. So let's keep going. We got to configure. Okay, here's another thing. So in here, we're going to set up some IP addresses. So let's edit this ROS environment. And we, we programmatically call the setup script. That's cool. And uh, the, the master IP is, um, well, this ROS IP needs to be the IP of the drone. So I'm going to edit this guy. It's one, and I think I'm one, two, six. And I'm going to um, cheat PDB shell if config. One, two, six. Cool. That's all good. I need that to, to be there. <clears throat> Save it. Close this one. And now we go down, continue on. All right. So I need to update this. Um, launch the demo. I don't need it. You can SSH in if I wanted to, if I wanted to do it wirelessly. But I'm just going to have a, I get ADB in. I'm already, I'm already there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna be careful. This thing, we're gonna arm, it's, we're gonna arm this, this vehicle when we, when we go, go through this. So, I have, so the next time the docks are up, they're gonna say that here. And what we need to do is um, we've already proven that the sticks, um, we, we set them up. We could, we could toggle through manual position and offboard. So let's, let's try to run this guy. So we're gonna do. Uh, Run. What do we got? Run Mavros test. So let's go for it. 
Looking pretty good. Waiting for offboard mode. So I think what's going to happen, I hope, I'm going to go from, I always forget what stick is what, but I think I'm going to go from this position for manual mode up to offboard and let's hopefully be armed for a little while. Let's, let's give it a whirl. Sweet, it worked. So I didn't, I didn't really arm it. I went to offboard mode. The vehicle armed, waited a little while, disarmed. And then uh, you can see our flight log. We got, a, we got some logs. Uh, that was a Rost log, uh, not a flight log. But yeah, there we go. So that's what we just did. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's, to me, a fun little hello world. And just to show the code, I really am a noob here. Um, but this is this launch file. And it looks like, looks like some uh, XML that gets loaded in and provides the sub the raw system some information and then we, the main one that i cared about was that we had this guy um so in uh this this node in our i'll show you where that gets used is um run mavros test it's this guy uh, mavros test dot launch so that was that that uh file we just saw and then um so skimming over that a lot um, this looks a little more familiar for me. It's, it's at least some code. So this simple demo, what the heck do we do? We basically, um, there's some nomenclature and like, uh, without setting things up like these rates and then having messages sent a bunch uh, behind the scenes while you're waiting, you end up not being able to go into offboard mode. Um, that's something that kind of caught me off guard while, while getting this going. But um, for the, mainly what we're doing here is, uh, we kind of we get into a loop and we wait for a state to change to offboard, and once we once we do that, we can uh, programmatically arm, and then I kind of just slept here for a bit, and then disarmed, and then you're done. That's it.